Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to my new digital paper template that you can use in Photoshop to create digital paper packs that consist of one pattern with 50 colors. Templates are a great way to speed up your workflow when it comes to creating digital paper packs in Photoshop. This template will be available as part of my Digital Paper Lab template pack. It also includes templates for 20 digital papers and 10 digital papers. And, and it also includes 50 essential patterns for uh, Photoshop that you can use with the templates. Currently I have my uh, template open here and what you'll see is that there are uh, 50 artboards that are sized at 3,600 pixels by 3,600 pixels for the actual digital paper. I have chosen uh, 50 colors, um, but these are all editable where you can uh, change out the colors. Zooming in here, I'm going to uh, use Command or Control with the plus key, and you can see uh, the different uh, colors here. We have a, um, a pattern that is repeated throughout each of these artboards here. And then scrolling down, we'll zoom in here again. We have some uh, ready to use uh, listing images that you can use when you create your digital paper pack. The first step I recommend uh, when using this template is coming to the layers panel and you should make it your own. So currently it just says one pattern, two pattern, three pattern to correspond to the digital papers. But what I do recommend is renaming. So in my case, my brand is Lemon Paper Lab. I would go one Lemon Paper Lab. And I would do that for each of these artboards. After you have adjusted all of the artboards to uh, reflect your brand name, um, the next step is I would come to this layer here, Digital Paper 1 for the artboard, and then let's zoom in on that one so we can see it here. I would add your logo. Um, you can also change out the design. Um, right now I have uh, some basic text. You can change out the font that you use for this or um, change how you want it to um, the layout of it and where you put your logo. Uh, but that would be the next step would just be to uh, make this um, kind of listing image your own and add your uh, branding to it and change it out the way that you would like. In this case, I just added my logo to it for uh, this listing image. And then you'll notice that there is a, an additional listing image that contains all of the different colors. And then uh, just an example here of the uh, digital paper that you can use as part of your listing, um, say if you wanted to sell this on Etsy, for example. So now that you have made this uh, template your own, uh, the next step will be to uh, choose your pattern. So let's go ahead and jump to the top of this here. We have our pattern layer, we have a color layer, and these are both smart objects. And so like I said, if you want to uh, change out the colors, you can, um, let's just do that for an example. So we have this first color red. Uh, let's make it obvious, let's just change this one to black. So let's go zero, zero. We'll go ahead and accept that there. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. You're gonna go Command or Control S to save it. I'm going to go ahead and leave this um, smart object open, but we'll jump back into the original. And what you'll notice, um, it has been updated here within our listing. It's been updated here within our colors. And then if we zoom out, we can see that it's been updated here within our digital paper. Uh, so that's the benefits of using smart objects, especially with templates like this, is that you can um, update it within uh, the various, um, in this case, the digital paper and within the listing images here. So we'll jump back over. We'll change that back to the red. I'm going to save this command or control S and then you can just close it out. Command or control W and then it's um, has been adjusted again here in the template. So that's one thing you can do is you can change out your colors and they will be adjusted throughout this template. And then you can 
change out your pattern. So I'm going to double click in to this smart object here. What you'll notice is we have um, some layers here. So we have our pattern fill layer. And then you have two uh, preset options. We can make our polka dots white, or if you choose to turn on the visibility of this black layer, you can make your polka dots black. So we'll go ahead and toggle off the black layer here. So we have our white polka dots. We have our pattern here. And so currently we have it set to where the color is the background and we have our white polka dots. Um, but you also have the option to um, create a paper pack where it is flipped. And in order to do that, you will need to make sure you have a inverse of your pattern. So what you'll notice here in the patterns panel here, and what I'm looking at here is my um, essential patterns uh, set that I have uh, created. This comes with my uh, digital paper lab bundle. You can also purchase this template um, in my Etsy shop. Um, when you purchase it in my Etsy shop, you'll need to, um, it does not come with these uh, patterns. So um, I'll leave a link to where um, you can get, if you just want to purchase these uh, patterns on their own um, to use with this template, um, I'll leave a link that in the description. Uh, but just note that these patterns do come with a digital paper lab automatically, um, but if you buy it a la carte, you'll need to uh, purchase the patterns separately if you would want to use these patterns here. So currently we have our original, and then um, if I select the inverse, and then I go to save this, Commander Control S, uh, you'll notice that it will be updated throughout the smart objects in our template document. So we'll jump over into our template document and now we see we have the inverse. So where the uh, polka dots is the color and the background is white. And then we see that reflected within our uh, listing images here as well. So. Um, those are two ways you can do it. So we'll jump back over. Uh, so with this template, you can use the original pattern where the background is the color. You can use the inverse pattern where the background is white. And then, um, like I said, if we toggle on this black, you can use it where, um, the, where instead of white, it's black. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So if I go Command or Control S to save it here, it will update the smart objects. And then if we look over in our template here, uh, we can see that the black is the background. We have our color for our polka dots and that it is reflected here in our listing image. So we'll jump back over here. Let's go ahead and select our original polka dot here. We'll turn off that black layer. We have our white. And then um, one other option, what you can create is more of a two-tone effect. So on this pattern fill layer, you'll wanna change your opacity to 50% here. We'll go ahead and save that, Command or Control S to save it. And then we'll jump back over into our template and what you can see is that it's created more of a two-tone effect here. We'll just zoom in where it's not 100% um, white, but it creates this fun uh, two-tone look with your digital papers here. So once you have selected your pattern, you can now go ahead and save your digital paper. So we'll just go ahead and zoom back out so we can see um, everything here. So we've got our 50 papers ready to go. We have our listing images ready to go. And so now we are going to export this. So to do that, you're gonna to go to File, Export, Export As. Uh, once everything has loaded, here on the left side here, you see a list of all the different artboards. We can see the artboard name. So, uh, so in this case, I can see um, the name with my brand name here. And so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to, we have this first one selected, scrolling down, I'm gonna hit shift click, and that will select all of those artboards here. And what you'll notice is it will bring up a kind of a thumbnail image here. 
Under the suffix, you can add a little bit more um, to your file name. So I'm gonna hit a dash and then I'll just add a polka dot. And you are limited in how many characters you can use for this suffix um, to be added, um, appended to the end of this file name. So uh, just keep that in mind that you'd want to keep it short. Otherwise, um, some of it might get cut off when it's added to your file name. And then here under file settings, um, we're going to do a JPEG format and then you can uh, change your quality. Um, typically, I'll um, set it to six, um, but you can bring it higher. Um, the more complex the pattern, the, the larger the file size um, that you'll get here. So sometimes you can play with the um, quality, um, whether you bring it all the way up or bring it down a little bit, um, just so you're not creating such large files. And then just scrolling down here, you can just click to export and then you can create a folder for it. So we're just going to go um, polka dots. Um, in this case, it's two toned. And then I'm just going to create that file. And then if I click to open, it will save um, all of these artboards as separate files. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up that folder and just double check. So I'm just going to navigate to my folder. Uh, so here I have my polka dots two tone folder. And then what you'll notice is you have each um, artboard was saved as its own file here. And we have our lemon paper lab and appended to the end is that polka dot here. So it's a quick way to uh, save your digital paper. So by using this template and uh, the way it's set up with the artboards, you can quickly save all of the different files that you need for your digital paper pack. And then we have all of our listing images here that you can use um, to promote your digital paper pack that you sell. I hope you enjoy using this uh, template in Photoshop to um, easily create digital paper packs that you can sell on marketplaces like Etsy or on your own website. In the description below, I will leave a link to where you can uh, purchase this template. Um, you can get as part of my Digital Paper Lab uh, bundle pack, or um, I'll also uh, have it listed on my Etsy shop um, where you can purchase it on its own. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.